Hello, this is Michael Kinsler from qtelwebdesign.ie and I just move on to the, where we were just finishing off. This is the next tutorial, tutorial 6. I'm just adding a category here. And we're just finishing that off at the end. And basically, this is the same so this is the same page or, or type of page you will use for your products. It's basically just a form down of Word. You can actually have code, clean the code. You can copy, paste a line left, center, or right, or full. You can add pictures, smileys, change the size of the, change the type of the text, change the size of the text. So you can put it this way or you can have it down to one and this will be actually seen what you type in here now or what pictures you add in here will be seen on your website um, this is the actual engine itself now so when you're adding a category you've have all your words done correctly and then if you don't want your pictures every time you add a category the picture of it yourself that you add in here which you put in here to browse this is where you add your picture and use JPEG pictures and try to use small definition as in the smaller the better because if you use too big the longer it would take for your website to come up on Google or come up on any search <coughs> so that's another little tear but you can type in whatever you want in text in here and it will come out it will come out there on your on your header on your page so say we type in A, so let's save the changes, so we're in Z test, save the changes, and it will come with save change here in the top if you're successful, if you add a duplicate category, it will tell you here, so category data has been successfully updated, so now we will go to category, which is here, when you add a subcategory, that's it there. So we notice I have subcategories here, and so forth, and so forth. And in those subcategories, I can actually take it again, where there's another category onto them. So forth, like that one there. Okay, so let's have a look at then what Z says here, Z test. And that A, 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 which I put should come across the top here. And there you go. Okay, that's what will come out then when you type in. So you can type in whatever you want in here, what goes in the header. The Z test you will see there which goes in there, Z test wholesale, etc. It's in here, and you will see that there. If I go into, uh, try and avoid using this back button here. Go back into manage categories. This is how you update your category. Go into manage it. and we just wait for the website to come up back down to it and click on it now see these buttons here sorry I forgot to tell you this this is delete a category and it will actually tell you add a subcategory and to edit category so you can just either click here or click here to edit I just normally click on the click it on itself now what I said earlier on was now watch how you put in here determines on what comes out in here so I'll go down to the side back up again so what you type in here will come up in here okay that's very important so that's the category test 
etc etc these are the most important things you need to remember to optimize yourself in Google to have your website look at and to get onto page one and basically these are the same with the products these we use exactly identical so now you have your category set up and you want to either manage your category you can see it here manage the categories and you just click on that I can go into anything here you want to say free shipping Just waiting for it to come up and when you want to log out you just go into the corner there and log out and then actually come up here so here we go here's a category here I've put in a bit of code and a picture will come up in the actual website and this is how you can you can actually put code in if you want or you can drag a picture from another website and drag it over onto this it's very straightforward I'll even show you how to do all that now we'll just wait for this to come up just remember you're inside the server here itself and if you look down the bottom my internet connection is fairly slow so it just takes me a bit of time if you have a faster internet connection it's fairly good You will see this come up now. And there we go. There's a picture there. And this is the writing underneath it. I've written in hyperlinks. And I've written all the code for this. This is one of the forms which I made. And you can make these. I'll show you how to make free forms. So you can actually make all these buttons and put the code in yourself. And it's very, very easy. And this will save your company and time hours of phone calls, hours of literally trying to sort out your website when you can actually do it yourself. So that's how you manage the category. So let's say you want to add your products now. So you have a whole list of products. So we're going to add a new product. Now it's basically the same thing, but all you do is pick where your products go to. And what I'll be doing is I'll be doing this on the next tutorial. And if you come with me with the next time, I will show you how to add a product into your website and to optimize it for Google. Okay, thank you.